who I love, I had she had to put it in the form of a of a question. Her both of her parents are, are professors, and uh, she's one of those that always had the answer to everything. But I told her she could only ask a question. So if we know that penguins have solid bones, what bone structure must these penguins have to have that could allow them not to freeze and still to fly? <laughs> like that was good. At least, at least it was in the form of a question. <laughs> She knew already, but she, she played a lot. And I did, I had one class that was like, wow, those are cool. Okay, no other questions? And, wow, where can we see them? <laughs> you know, so I try to teach the kids, you gotta have that baloney detector, just as you see me eating stuff. Now, I, I want them to believe in some things, obviously, but just because you see it doesn't mean it actually happens. And then BBC also has a, the making of. This is, they apparently they have April Fool's they jokes with some regularity, and this was one of their April Fool's ones. But the bombardment of phone calls to the BBC about how to take a trip to find these penguins was <laughs> uh, out of control. That the general public really just thought there were these flying penguins. And so, I, again, I try to show the kids sometimes, just because you see it doesn't always mean that it's real. So we talk about those kinds of things, too. And I've got clips to those on that. So they're on here with my favorite, including the April Fool's one. Uh, and so sometimes I'll just do these thought-provoking ones. Uh, if you haven't seen Dalton Sherman, this cute little kid who you know starts off the staff development meeting with, "Do you believe in me? Because I believe in me." And you know, it's like, great. So it's all this cool. Uh, so some of these are just motivational things for teachers. Some of them are about education. Some of them also are ones that I actually show my students. Uh, shards of glass freeze pops when we get into. Uh, uh, we, we do the project alert and the tobacco. At Shards of Glass Freeze Pops, we want you to know where we stand on important glass freeze pop issues. <laughs> For example, we now agree there's no such Oh, so sometimes buffering stuff, and if you do the same thing as a safe glass freeze pop, they are addictive and can cause serious health issues. In fact, and so then it goes into, you know, we know, they're only for adults. Kids can't have glass screen spots and, you know, but, so, there. so all kinds of cool stuff there. And for the things I wanted to mention, obviously there's tons more. Please, I, all my contact information is on there. Feel free to contact me if you have questions. I know I gave you lots of information. And I know I'm like one minute into the next person's presentation, so I don't want to do that. But uh, lots of stuff, let me know. Please give me feedback. If you've got other cool things that you do with your students, I'd love to hear about them. If you could please make sure that all the samples get back in the box. I do need the samples back, so please. I know they're tempting, but don't take them. The remotes, etc. So if you can just take the boxes, and if you can put them towards the inside of the table, that'll allow me to clean them up faster so I can get my stuff out of the way for the next presenter.